place, but a pleasant one. Tonight, tonight's episode I expected to be a direct continuation, while there are only being six episodes of this revival confirmed in this miniseries. But I guess what Chris Carter was talking about, what when he said that there would only that there would that there would be more X Files if Fox wanted them, was that he was going to start the beginnings of a new plot arc and. If it finished, fine. If it didn't, if it was only six episodes, then, you know, who cares? Um, and I have to say, right now, I'm kind of okay with it, because this standalone episode was classic X-Files, and just classic disturbing sci-fi and horror at its best. Um, this, this had great direction, classic camera classic camera angles and a and, and it was just like there there were some really disturbing images that stand up with the best any classic horror film has to offer there were some great character moments and it tied into Mulder and Scully's plot arc and it showed a realistic fallout of their decisions from the past and I'm trying to give you these reviews with minimal spoilers while still giving you a comp while still giving you a pretty good idea of what I thought of the episode. So uh, bear with that in mind if I'm not being too specific. One thing that that um, is it that I think Chris Carter and his writing team are doing great is whenever you go into some sort of series that's long term, where you're seeing long term in a character's life and you're seeing them develop, particularly their personal relationships and they decide to surprise you with like a left turn or having life not turn out you know right or just having a relationship that was built up over the course of a story falling apart be it whenever most writers try it in something like one more day castle or anything like that nine time ninety nine times out of a hundred i think you as the audience, you feel like the rugs pull out from under you, and you feel like it wasn't replaced with anything that fell in character. A lot of times, it feels like they break the characters in order to get their plot twist going in, as if they, uh, got the, uh, as if they, uh, cared more about the plot twist than they did about the logic of the universe, of how the universe works, or the characters themselves what they would realistically do in this situation. Well, there were a couple of scenes here that showed alternate versions of Mulder and Scully's life, and it was like Chris Carter was throwing the fans a bone, saying, showing us, you know, what he knows we wanted to see, but then he's showing us, look, you know in the X-Files universe, and then it takes, and then you takes a right turn in, you see why Mulder and Scully made the decision that they do. As much as we want to see what happy, you know that it would have been a selfish decision. And we're okay with the left turn and with the decision they make that in any other series they wouldn't take the time to explain or even put out a logical reason for the choice because they just want to get to their plot twist and they don't care about anything else. He had, this is what this is why I this is why despite his flaws sometimes writing writing plot arcs or something, and the fact that he clearly didn't plan out the X-Files from the beginning, he, um, got something, he got something, um, he, um, I give him credit for, I give him, still give him credit for being a really good writer in that he seems to actually respect that, yeah, he's always said that he didn't want he wasn't interested in putting Mulder and Scully together, but he but he seems to respect that. Yeah, it seemed to have been the logical thing to do with their characters, and it seemed to be where they were going. So he throws the fans a bone, and then he says, "But look, see, the reason why you like the X Files is because of all this conspiracy and horror stuff." Well, here's how it would have gone wrong. So yeah, and. You get that Mulder and Scully both get it, even though they have regrets, and that, and that you can live with it. And David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson in particular are both in top form in this episode. It it just felt like a classic standalone episode of the X Files, but with the addendum that it tied into their personal lives to the extent that it made it 
all the more horrifying and intense. And boy, and it stand, and it stands up. So even though I wanted to see a continuation of the conspiracy begun last night, which, by the way, I think Mulder is being played by the by the smoking man. I think the smoking man has found a way to get Mulder to destroy his own life's work. That seems like the sort of thing he would do. So I don't believe any of this about about the um, UFOs not being real. I'm not sure I believe it. If it turns out to be true, they did they did a decent job of explaining it. That I could buy it if it leads to some good storylines. But if it turns out not to be, but if it turns out not to be true, I won't be shocked. And one thing I spotted in this episode is I will give you away one thing. As somebody who just finished watching season one on Blu-ray, my si my sister and I just finished watching season one on Blu-ray too. Um, because for because I was re because I was just got that box set and I decided to review it. And uh, one of the things we spotted was this episode. I don't know if it was on purpose, but this episode, but this episode involves genetic engineering. On the theme of this episode is genetic engineering and involves it being done on fetuses and children, and that leaves some disturbing images on its own. But, a guest star occurs in here who played a clone way back in season one. So, maybe it's just an odd to the... To, maybe it's just our actress being recast by coincidence because, you know, after 23 years it's hard to recognize her. But my, but my sister and I couldn't help but wonder, and if, and I've seen every episode of The Exiles, but I don't remember every episode, so if this was picked up later and I just forgot about it, disregard it, but we couldn't help but wonder if since the same actress was cast, and the last time we saw her, and the last time I remember seeing her, she was working in a government facility experimenting on children with genetically engineered sort of super intelligence or, su or super power, or psychic powers of some sort. We couldn't help but wonder if it's supposed to be the same character, Mother and Scully just didn't recognize her because it's been 23 years and I couldn't remember every X-File if I had been working on this song, you know? So, who knows? Is Chris Carter set and his team setting up something? Was it a coincidence? Was it just a nod to classic series fans reusing a guest star? I don't know. All I know is that this episode, it had both Mulder and Scully using their skills. Well, the autopsy scene was more disturbing than any I've seen in any of the shows that have tried to knock off the X-Files autopsy scene since then. since then. It had some great camera angles and even frame shot and even shots that, you know, look good as still frames that are, and it just had good acting, good writing across the board, good direction. It was classic, standalone, horror, X-Files while having just enough, while having just enough suggestion of the overall conspiracy arc to carry it on. Uh, and some people, out of six episodes, some people, with only six episodes confirmed, some people may feel that this was a wasted episode, but I enjoyed it a lot. Anyway, the, fi the, the final rating, 9.5 out of 10. This is up there with the best episodes of the X-Files. And it shows that the X-Files still does what it does better than any other show out there. If you... So, so yeah, I like this a lot better than last night's episode. And I like found that pretty much above average. So, 5.0 is average to me. That means that there's nothing wrong with it, but there's nothing great about it. And so last night was 7.0. This is a 9... So that last night was a 7.5, this is a 9.5, so yes, this miniseries is off to a great start. And if it continues like this, I really hope Fox 
gives us more mini series like this because this is some of the this is some of the best television out there. Bearing in mind, of course, that I don't particularly care for shows like Game of Thrones and stuff like that. So that gets all the critical, you know, attention. So good job.